Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, thelandgeek.com. And on this week's Roundtable podcast, we don't have all the usual suspects, but we have enough of them. We have Taria putting in the reps. Harris, Taria, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Um, I'm great. It's good to see you. You too. We, we've got your partner in crime, The Landman, Landon <laughs> Harris. Landon, how are you? I'm well, Mark. Having uh just glad to be off of Thanksgiving and getting back to normal. Did you have surf and turf? I did not. I had turf, no surf. No surf. <laughs> no. Look, look at Scott Todd with his judgment of there. I, I don't you can know have what... you can have surf on Thanksgiving. It's not you're misunderstanding. Like I'm not judging that. I'm judging the fact that every time we go on a podcast, this guy's got a different uh nickname. <laughs> the landman, surf and turf. The land shark. I don't know what can we do. I don't know what his name is. I Landon. Think the, you know, when you come up with a great nickname that sticks, <laughs> then it sticks. In the meantime, I get to recycle the, the nicknames. Okay. Speaking right. of nicknames, I love it when you call me Big Papa, <laughs> Tate Litchfield. Tate, how are you in Vegas? We're good. Yeah, everything's trucking along. Every time we do the the after Thanksgiving podcast and Tate's house is not burnt down, I just sigh a deep breath of relief. Listen, I know what I'm doing. You got to get that turkey. You want to put it in the in the deep fryer when it's totally frozen. The more frozen it is, the less likely you are to burn your house down. Perfect. That could be the tip of the week. That's exactly the wrong thing to do. But, you know, <laughs> you don't know. I was just saying, to, uh, to our audience, <laughs> do not do that. Do not do that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Find yourself on a YouTube channel if you do that. ER. ER. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, we got Scott Todd from scotttodd.net, landmoto.com. Learn anything about anything, InvestorNinjas.com. And by the way, Scott does have a nickname that is consistent. The brain, the professor, your fights go Sherpa. Scott Todd, how are you? I'm good, Mark. How are you? I'm good. Today's podcast is sponsored by Flight School. Learn how the next 16 weeks can transform your life. Go up the mountain of land investing quickly, safely, efficiently with Scott Todd, who's done it thousands of times as your Sherpa. Learn more. Go to thelandgeek.com forward slash training. TheLandGeek.com forward slash training. Oh, by the way, guess how much that's going to cost you? Nothing. Guaranteed. You're going to make back that flight school tuition. 180 days or less. Just show us your work. Well, we have a good topic. It's gratitude. You know, gratitude is one of those things that is just like peanut butter and jelly with happiness. Happy people aren't grateful. Grateful people are happy. So as we come out of Thanksgiving, I think it's apropos, if you will, to talk about what are you most grateful for regarding your land business? And so why don't we start with the land shark, <laughs> Landon Harris. Landon. I think... <laughs> I think pretty soon I might have it like Scott Todd, where we have three names and you just keep rolling them out. <laughs> there you go. I think you already have that, man. I think yeah. you already have it. You already have it. It's just, the, the rollout hasn't happened yet. <laughs> um, but I think, you know, grateful. Um, I, you know, I'll be honest. This was the first year that I have ever had the opportunity to go spend three or four days with my family and not have to worry about work. It's the first time ever. And I say that it's been over 26, 30 years that I've had this opportunity. So I, I would say just freedom of time and freedom of time to just do what I want, spend time with family, go and, you know, enjoy a vacation or like I said, just, you know, getting back to getting closer to my family and, and having that time. So my mom actually cried when I left. I haven't seen that in a long time. So it was one of those things that was, I was grateful for it. 
you know? So I would probably say freedom, time, allowing just, you know, to be able to do what you want to do. So that's what this business has done for me. That is absolutely beautiful. I am so glad I don't have to follow that one up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cheria, put in the reps, Harris. Um, what, what about you? I, I'll obviously say freedom because I get to spend more time uh, with Landon. And he's right. This was, we talked about it the first day after Thanksgiving, he wasn't up at five o'clock heading into practice. So the fact that we're home together all day, every day, we can do what we want to do. That's great. But the one thing that the land business has also provided and just being a coach and helping other land investors is kind of seeing when the light clicks or when their business just kind of does what they want it to do, so to speak, watching them kind of turn the corner from this isn't working to, oh my God, I have an actual business. So that's rewarding uh, for me as a coach in this business. And then as a land investor with Landon, I'm, I'm happy he's home. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really beautiful marriage in and of itself because a lot of people listening to this would think, oh my gosh, poor Taria, now you're home with him <laughs> every day. And yet it's a positive. That's wonderful. It is. Cause we don't have to be home. We can, we can go to Georgia and, and work from there. We can go to Cancun as we were a couple of weeks ago and work from there. So it's, it's liberating. Yeah. And I love the way you talked about when the light goes on for the coaching students, mm -hmm. that is that ineffable quality or ineffable characteristic or experience that it's hard to describe yeah. when when someone gets it and everything in their business which then equates into their life changes and to have that privilege is just amazing an, an amazing feeling so i'm so glad i don't have to follow that one up either <laughs> i love it when you call me big papa tate litchfield what are you most grateful for you know in yeah. this business <laughs> It's a, it's a season of gratitude, right? And I think that the one thing that I've learned is, you know, nobody celebrates Thanksgiving like we do in the United States. And it's, it's, a, it's a nationwide time of reflection. And I don't think anybody else does it like we do here. And I'm really grateful for that because it allows people from all walks of life to get together with family and reflect on just how blessed and how lucky, you know, we all are. And I certainly count my blessings and uh, look back at the hard work that I've put into this and, and am grateful for all things land. I'm, I'm grateful for uh, the time that I have, right. I got young kids and I'm going to be one of the dads who, is probably annoyingly present, right? Because I got nothing else to do. Um, and, and that's the greatest thing that I have right now. And I'm also thankful for the financial freedom and security that this brings. Uh, that's that's a big plus, especially, you know, in the world that we're in today it was a topic at, you know, our table, this Thanksgiving, and I'm certain, I'm certain everyone else is as well. And, you know, I basically said, yeah, come what may, we're, we're all right. We're ready. No worries. Like uh, we'll adapt and sure. We might have to make some pivots and, and changes, but my business model won't change. It'll stay the same. And so I'm grateful for that. But most importantly, I, I think I'm grateful for my, my friends, uh, my work colleagues, uh, the community members that we have here. It's nice to have a good support system of people who are just as obsessed and nerdy about this as I am. And you realize outside of this small, small, small niche that uh, we're in the minority. Like a lot of people don't get it. And a lot of people at your Thanksgiving dinner are going to say, wait, you're buying land that you've never been to in a state that uh, is a thousand miles away from you in a county where you can't even properly pronounce the name. What is wrong with you? That is a terrible investment. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Stay in your lane. I'll stay in mine. I know what I'm doing, right? Like I got this. And so I'm grateful for that. Um, but honestly, 
I'm grateful uh, in so many different ways. And I'm, I'm thankful that this is a business where I get out of it what I put into it. Mm-hmm. Right. The more I focus, the more I work, the better the results are. It is a truly if then statement, in my opinion. I, I love that. I love everything you said, but it's so true. There's so many businesses that it's not a one to one ratio of effort to results. Right. And it takes time, right? It's not like you're going to get that one to one payback immediately. There is a deferred gratification that can take place over the course of months to years. But in the end, you're going to work on something. Right? Like, might as well be something that's going to be good and that is scalable. This yeah. is a scalable business. People Absolutely. don't get that. That's one of our best kept secrets. Yeah, there's there's not a night that I don't think about when I go to bed and I don't feel grateful for the fact that there's no land emergency. No one's ever calling us up and uh, disturbing our sleep at two in the morning. The pipe That's hurts. not true, Mark. We got a phone call the other day of somebody whose payment had failed and they called us like 13 times to make sure they got, they made that payment on time. Okay. So <laughs> that, that is the one anomaly. Otherwise, it's a great emergency. It's like, I'm calling you cause I need to give you money. It's like, all right, all right. I'll get, I'll put some pants on for this. Yeah. Yeah. But think about the stress of all those landlords when they go to bed at night. It's like when you have a newborn baby, it's like, oh, am I going to get the call? Is something, is everything going to go well tonight? It's, and it and it gets worse as you scale. There's more doors. There's more things to go wrong. So, but oh, besides that, you, you said a lot of, of really uh, amazing things uh, to be grateful for. And I'm so glad I don't have to follow that up. And the fact that Scott Todd has to like put a bow on the gratitude podcast after Thanksgiving brings me so much joy. But Scott Todd, what are you most grateful for in your land business? Uh, I should have gone first, by the way. Um, You know, I I would say that it comes down to economics and, and economics isn't just money. Um, you know, as been, as it's been said by other people, it, there's many different ways you can look at it, but to me, it all comes back down to econ- the economics of the business. So what is it? It's the time freedom. It's the financial freedom. It's, it's all of those things. And it's nice not having to worry about, uh, all the little things in your life, whether it's, you know, money or whatever, it's just like here, it's, it's taken care of. And you know, it, it allows you, this business kind of allows you to create an entire life uh, that you that you truly do imagine because for all of the reasons that have been talked about, whether it's, you know, no land emergencies or the time ability to, to spend with family or to be where you want to be uh, in on this big, big planet, you know, you can be anywhere uh, living, living the life that you want to live. The fact that you have the money to do it it just makes for the, you know, for the absolute greatest life that you can get. In fact, I was talking to someone the other day and they told me that uh, they are, they've been, they're now full-time in this business. And they told me they work five minutes a day on their business, five minutes a day. So, I mean, hats off to them. Um, that's incredible. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that, that do just that, that you never, you never see, you know, like they're just, low on the radar, but they're doing it, you know, and the, this business is the thing that allows them to do it and to create the lifestyle that they want. So I think I'm grateful for the economics of the business. I I love that. And so I will put a bow on it because I think to add to what Scott said, the fact that we have a business, we have a model that solves not just our money problems, but our time problems so that we have total freedom to work when we want, where we want, with whom we want, to move up Maslow's hierarchy of needs into self-actualization, to have that freedom of choice, to go and do in life what you really want to do, whether it's make your mom cry because you have to leave Thanksgiving weekend and go back home, whether it's 
spending quality present time with your children. The fact that the Litchfield kids will never, I mean, that's saying that, you know, Tate lives, which is a high probability, but they'll never look at Tate <laughs> as a dad and say, you weren't there. He's there for every, every milestone, every event, all the hard things about parenting He's there for every all of it. If his wife wants to run out and he has to be there to help out, he's there. Even there's there's no quality time. It's time. And that is such a gift that Taria can spend that quality time with the person she loves the most in the world and not feel the stress of life of he you know being pulled in that direction or this direction well the life becomes it's just the world they're always well let's go work in cancun this week and the the freedom to do that and you know scott todd you have total freedom that we all want to have i want to go on my plane and fly off in a moment's notice with my my best friend to lunch hey guy i love when i love when i get the box Hey guys, just just flew over here for lunch in Naples. <laughs> you flew over here, yeah. No, no traffic. <laughs> and so, when you start going meta on all the things that this business provides and all the gratitude, to find someone in the business that's ungrateful is just a person that hasn't noticed that they're just not paying attention, and. It's the great privilege, the great vocation of my life to be able to share this with others so that they can go on an arduous journey and climb up that mountain. That is not easy. It might be a simple model, but I think it would take away the magic of it if it were easy. We wouldn't, we wouldn't appreciate the struggle of it, of building a business, of building a life of enjoying total freedom if there were no struggle in it in the sense that I'm sure Landon and Taria, when they wake up on these cold mornings, don't feel like working out, but they do the hard work of it so that they can enjoy all the benefits of being strong and feeling healthy and longevity and getting that dividend of it. And so we're all receiving these dividends of total freedom every single day because we put in the time, the hard work. And as Scott Todd likes to say, having that big burning desire, that big why that's bigger than ourselves to sustain us on the days that we don't feel like working our land business and and, and building it and growing it. So that was a lot. But dear listener, it is now time to put, is it myself on the spot? For the tip of the week, a website, a resource, a book, something else actionable for the art of passive income listeners to go and improve their businesses, improve their lives. I've I've got the tip of the week. I think think you were nominated. Okay. So I think a lot of you know, actually, the joke is, how do you know if someone is in cryptocurrency or vegan? Don't worry. Give them a second. They'll tell you. So I'm like in that now new category of how do you know Mark quit sugar? Don't worry. He'll tell you. So I quit sugar and yet I do miss sugar. So I found a hack and it is pressed juicery. So if you have a pressed in your town, my hack is it's all natural sugar in frozen yogurt form. And you add a little fruit on there. Don't do the gummy bears. Do like blueberries and coconut chips. And I get my sweet during the day or at night. Now, Taria tells me if I do start to gain weight because this is not calorie-free snack, she will help me out with it. But that is my tip of the week. So if you don't have a pressed, I would say maybe look at Costco. They've got these keto bars that have sugar alcohols, but no sugar. They're delicious. They're ice cream bars. So 
eliminate the sugar. That's my tip of the week. Don't, don't, I mean, unless you're well, going to be Scott Todd and have a donut in the morning. But he's burning off that donut the whole day. I don't think there's anything wrong with the donut in the morning if you're watching your your, your sugar intake. It's, it's a tough tip for the season that we're in. <laughs> Maybe you start no sugar January 1st. We're about to I, head right into the holidays. I, I think this is when you start to do it and be that one person that has the moral superiority over everyone else at the Christmas party. <laughs> oh, you're going to have that peanut butter ball? I quit sugar. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that eggnog looks delicious. I'll pass. I'll have the water. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. That's I, I, did, I did have a bite of pumpkin pie because it's tradition and I think it's as a as a guest to not have a polite bite of someone's homemade pumpkin pie is bad juju. Yeah. Guaranteed way not to get yourself invited back, that's for sure. <laughs> well look, I definitely I don't have to have half the pie like I nice. used to have. I had a bite. That's like that's called being a good guest, right? Like being that's a good guest. That's yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But then I silently got to judge in the corner as everybody over eight, the pumpkin pie. <laughs> it's a good feeling. You silently judging me. I wanted my own <laughs> pumpkin pie. Did you? I'll tell you, he's got a great pumpkin pie for five bucks at Costco. How do they do it? The the rotisserie chicken. I was, obviously I was just at Costco last night. I. It's amazing. What a deal. It's a loss leader, right? Get you in the door. Yes. You no, know I like Costco because they keep the cost low. Did you know, Mark, that you can you can go to their cafeteria and buy those churros? Have you seen those churros? Did you buy any of those? No, he no, quit sugar. sugar. Mark, Scott. Like, I mean, come on, man. You got to go look at them. I know you quit sugar. Maybe they'll convert you back to the sugar team. Because uh, it is an industry that you're hurting, by the way, by doing that. You're hurting the economy by doing that. Uh, but that said, that said, for those of you that like the Costco churros, you can buy them in bulk. You can, you can buy them in a, in bulk and you take them home and you heat them. It's like bringing Costco home. You know, it's like, you don't need to go spend your money there. You just bring it home. Yeah. Little tip. Yeah. That and type two diabetes. I thought this was a great podcast. I want to thank the listeners <laughs> and remind them that the only way that I'm going to be able to get Scott Todd to come back on the podcast is if you do us three little favors, follow rate review the podcast, send us a screenshot of your review to support at the I'm going to personally send you a signed copy of dirt rich and just do it because you want to do it and it helps us and we get better guests that way as well. So please do it. All right. Are we good? Tria? All good. Surf and turf. We're good. <laughs> Tate. I, I, yeah, we. I, I think we got to kill this surf and turf name. It's <laughs> that's really bad. It's not a good one. It's it's bad. Scott, don't leave me hanging. You know you agree with me. I, I do. I mean, you know, Mark. You, you hate Mark it. I know land, you do. <laughs> Mark the Mark the land guy. Are we good? I mean, <laughs> Mark the land guy. I mean, come on, man. Give the guy a name. Surf and Turf? He's a grown man. He doesn't want to be called Surf and Turf. What's up, Land Man? I mean, Land Man would make more sense than, I don't know. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, Landon, I mean, the guy is born to deal with land. Look at His that. Name. Like, He's His a professional name. swimmer and swim coach. So, call well, the- why call why? I mean, call him the shark then, but like... Yes. Coach, no. you know, just call him coach. Coach, that is a good one. Coach, coach, okay. Yeah. Surf and turf, he's never been called surf and turf in his life up until. Oh, I got a good one, Mark. Uh, Tay, hey, I got a good one. Let's close this thing out, Mark the no sugar guy. <laughs> All right, one Mark the sugar than now, Mark Podolsky's taking the mic. <laughs> one, two, three. Let's Let read them. This was hilarious. <laughs>
I'm surprised right. people listen to this, honestly. I, I, honestly, I, I am too. It's it, it's amazing. Yeah. But I do think the community should chime in. I, th- I thought Surf and Turf was actually very creative. It's but not. his name is Landon. It just goes well. Land, land, land in the land, man. It yeah. just goes. It's what a, about but, coach? Coach. Coach. That's coach. better it's fit too, It's not. It doesn't have the personality of Landon. Landon, come up with your nickname that you want, and then we'll just call That's it. That's not how nicknames gonna... work. <laughs> Taria, <laughs> what's his name? What do you call it? Taria, what do you call Landon? Baby. The nice name. The nice oh. name that you call hey, Not the bad uh, Hey, baby. Yeah, hey, baby. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Landon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's just my down. <laughs> baby Landon. Baby yeah. Landon. I got it. That's I got not it. happening. I got it. I got yeah. it. Baby Shark. He even had his own song. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Shark baby. This got terrible. <laughs> this, this is just devolved. That's really bad. That's really bad. I think Train, have a say. Tracks. He lives with them every day. Which is more likely to encapsulate Landon? Landon the land man, surf and turf, the land shark, coach, or big baby? <laughs> big baby. <laughs> so we're gonna have big pop and big baby. <laughs> yeah, look at, look at this. I gotta I'm go, getting, guys. This is I'm getting hot. Yeah. Over, I'm getting I'm hot over here. I gotta take this sweater off. It's getting all hot. Over here. Getting big hot for landing. I, I really hope after let freedom ring, people stopped listening. <laughs> we gotta be done. We gotta be done, guys. Uh, imagine this is with no this is with no alcohol. By exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is this is not all that cap. This is in the all us. day. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah. Go go mail something. I don't know. All right. <laughs> let's 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 go do some work. In this train wreck, please. Yes. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Art of Passive Income podcast. Are you ready to learn how you can start building a passive income without renters, rehabs, renovations, or rodents? Schedule a free consultation at thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Let freedom ring.